I, um, I remember when I was coming home from work a couple months ago, early in the morning. It's like 7.30 in the morning. You know, I get off the 6th train at Parkchester, and I needed to take the Pelham Bay Park train that go further up to one stop to Castle Hill so I could be able to, you know, go home. And as I was walking down the platform, you know, this guy, you know, uh, came up to me. I was eating my grapes. This guy came up to me and was like, yo, you, you think I'm playing with you? Like, yo, I, I said, yo, I, I said, you talking to me? He said, yeah, I'm talking to you. I said, man, you don't know me? You know, I don't have no problem with you. He said, yeah, I got a problem with you. Hey, what's up? I tear you up. I was like, man, you got the wrong person. It ain't me. And then he actually made a move towards me. He spit at me, and then he swung at the same time. I was able to dodge both of them, you know, but my adrenaline, you know, my adrenaline kicked in. I was like, this man ain't listening to me. Now I got to protect myself. So as I was reaching in my bag to pull out, you know, my box cutter, he actually was walking. He was actually walking away. But he would get into a defensive stance. And I'm thinking, I'm saying, if I get into something with this guy, you know, I'm going to potentially be in trouble because I got more to lose than he do. You understand? So um, I got my life to lose. And, you know, he got his life to lose. He don't care nothing about his life, but I care something about my life, you know. So um, I was trying to talk him down, but still my adrenaline was, was flowing. And I wasn't going to look like I was going to back down from him because if I did, it's potential chance that he would keep coming. So I had to stand my ground, you know. And um, ultimately, he was pump faking. All right, so pump faking is um, somebody that act like they're going to do something, but they don't got no intentions of doing or ain't going to do it. You know, and actually this guy was perpetrating that. And I, you know, I realized that I seen it. So um, I was kind of relieved because I didn't want to do nothing to him. Like I said, I could potentially be in trouble. You know, he, you know, but I was, you know, on point just in case he, you know, do something to me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to let him get the best of me. It could happen. He could get the best of me, or I get the best of him. Either or, I'm, you know, it's a, it's a lose-lose situation for me. You know, the situation that I'm in. And um, in the 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 um the space that I'm in now, where I'm at in my life, you know, um, just just trying to stay out the way, man. Just trying to be peaceful and trying to mess with nobody. But like I said, our society, you know, we got a lot of um people that ain't mentally stable walking around us, you know, and um, and I go through these things, you know, pretty often, but I have to think for the next person, you know, because I ain't that same person that is impulsive like I was, you know, not even thinking and just reacting to stuff, you know, I got to think about it first before, you know, see if, you know, this situation could get my immediate energy, you know, what type of energy this situation could, uh, you know, I put my energy to or whatever. You know, but um, like I said, our society in the whole is, is kind of messed up right now. People that's confused, that, you know, um, that's looking for an identity, you know, and, um, you know, I have an identity. So, you know, I'm who I am. You know, I'm not trying to be nobody else, you know, opposed to somebody that's uh, trying to be somebody. You know, I've been there, you know, and I had to learn the hard way. I hope that you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will always get an alert when a new video drops.